Hi, in this video I'll show you how to calculate the mean and standard deviation for a set of data. I have two sets of data here. Let's say they're cyclists who cover kilometers. So the first set of data we have people that have cycled 98 kilometers, 67 kilometers, etc. Okay, so what we need to do firstly is to calculate the mean. And the mean is known as an average. And that's found by just adding up the number of figures in a data set and dividing by the number of values. So first we want to find the number of values and we can simply do this with an Excel tool where we put equals count, open your bracket and we'll highlight the cells that contain the figures from the first to the last. Drag down, close your bracket and press return. And we see that we have 12 figures for, uh, this first, for the first data set. We do the very same for the next data set. So count, open your bracket, Highlight, click on the first cell and drag down to the last. Close your bracket and press return. Okay, so we know straight away that I know we can add this up quite quickly, but when we're dealing with large sets of data, we'd rather Excel do the counting for us. Now, the next step is to calculate the mean. Okay, why is this useful? Well, it is for an average and we use it for making comparisons between say two sets or two groups of data or people, in this case, two groups of cyclists. So the mean in this case is found by adding up the number of, adding up the values in data set one and dividing by the number of those values. So we could do this by one of two methods and I'll do each method for each data set. So the first method equals sum, we open our bracket, Again, we'll click on and drag down from the first to the last cell, close your bracket, and we'll divide that by the number 12, or in my case, what I'll do is I'll just click on that cell, and I'll, Excel will take note of that num figure of 12. And let's press enter or return, and we find that the mean number of kilometers that this group of cyclists have done is 100 kilometers. The second method, or the second way of calculating the average, or the mean in Excel, is just simply equals and type in the word average. Open your bracket and again from the first to the last cell we'll drag down, close your bracket. You don't have to do anything. Excel has already taken account that there's 16 values in this data and the average number of kilometers cycled by this group of cyclists are is 81 kilometers. Next we find a standard deviation. The standard deviation identifies the, how much variation exists between the data, people in one particular data set and the average. So if you were to look at one particular person and say, for example, data set one, we have this guy, this person cycled 98 kilometers, which is a deviation of only two kilometers from its mean. Whereas the last person has a deviation of 20 on the plus side. Okay, so the standard deviation that we calculate is almost like an average deviation. So it adds up all of these deviations and say it divides it by um, what we call the degrees of freedom, 12 minus 1, but that's something for another time. So the standard deviation is found, again, simply using a function in Excel, which is equals STDEV, ST standard DEV deviation. We open our bracket. And again, we'll highlight the first and last cell of that particular data set, closing your bracket, and we get a standard deviation of 22.659. A three, two decimals is perfectly fine to actually uh, work off. So I'm just going to reduce that down to the two decimal place. We take the very same approach for the second data set, STDEV, making sure it's equals STDEV, open your bracket, and again, first to the last figure in that column, close your bracket, press return, 41.76 kilometers in that case. So we have a difference between the mean and standard deviations for each data set, and that tells a story about these types of, of cyclists. Okay, there's more, firstly, um, uh, more cyclists in group two than there are in group one, represented by data one and data two. Data one have cycled 100K, Data two cyclists have only done 81k, but the standard deviation is higher in data set two than it is in data set one. All that means is that those people who have cycled 
and group one or data set one have pretty much cycled close enough to the average. There's not as much variation or deviation from that from that average. There's a, an average, if you want to say an average or a standard deviation of 22.66 kilometers. Whereas there's a greater standard deviation or a greater deviation in data set two. Maybe they're not as fit, or maybe you have some stronger people in there like the 167K cyclist. But you know, you have a wider variation in the data. We have a high of 167 here and a low is 33. So there's quite a wide variation and that's why the standard deviation there is higher. So what does this mean? We can only tell whether a standard deviation is low or high when it's compared to other groups. And that's why it's useful to have in this case a data, data one and data two for two similar types of groups of people cyclists in this example. So it's always good to make comparisons. A standard deviation on its own pretty much isn't um, worth much to explore. But by comparing the two, we can say that one is low and the other one is high. And again, the definition here, a low standard deviation suggests that the values in the set are closer to the mean, whereas here they're more dispersed or varied away from the mean. Okay. So um, thanks very much for watching this video. When I click on the link below, you'll get a PDF version of this example plus others. And I'll show you how to, and in those, I'll give you answers on those particular examples. And why not check out my next video, which I'll show you the same calculation, the mean and the standard deviation, but I'll do it for a longer data set. And it's actual data that I found for um, labor force participation in two states in the United States of America. So why not check it out? Thanks very much for listening. Really appreciate it. And don't forget, why not sign up and click on the logo, Economic Rockstar. Subscribe, never miss a video. I'll have these sent right to you on your YouTube channel. And I'll be building up these video series over time. So I'll, I'll be going from mean standard deviation all the way through uh, regression correlation and every uh, time series analysis. And I'll try and cover as much as I can. Thanks very much. Really appreciate it. Enjoy.